Professor Flutterblaster here. Today we're going to talk about um, carbon dioxide. I almost forgot. Carbon dioxide. Yeah. We breathe in air and we breathe out carbon dioxide. Well, this is it. It's solid carbon dioxide. Well, I hope you guys can see that a little bit of gas is coming off of it. The gas coming off is carbon dioxide. So this is solid carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide gas. Of course, you guys also know it as dry ice. And the reason I have my gloves on is, is it's really cold. When, when a material goes from solid to a gas, that's called sublimation. But everything in this world is made out of matter. And matter has three phases. It has three phases. So it can be a solid, it can be a liquid, or it can be a gas. Well, this is the carbon dioxide solid. And there's carbon dioxide gas coming off of it. But I, can, I also want to show you that there is such a thing as carbon dioxide liquid. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. I have this, this graduated cylinder. And we're going to go ahead and put our carbon dioxide in the graduated cylinder. Now, before we do that, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about acid and bases. Acid means there is hydrogen ions in there. Base means there's no hydrogen ions. So, um, I have something called universal indicator here. Universal indicator is something that tells how much hydrogen ions is, is in, a, in a solution. So, if I put universal indicator in here, there we go, get it nice and blue. So, that means this water, this water in here, has no hydrogen ions in it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put my carbon dioxide in there. And I want you to watch it really closely. If we put it in, the solid falls to the bottom. Here's our carbon dioxide gas. But I want you to watch the liquid very, very carefully. I hope you can see that the liquid just turned from blue to green to yellow. Now, yellow means there's an acid in the liquid. Well, before there was no acid, now there is. Before there was no hydrogen ions, now there is. Well, what is that? It's liquid carbon dioxide. Yes, and liquid carbon dioxide is called carbonic acid. So, this shows us that carbon dioxide, just like everything else in this world, can be a solid, there it is, a liquid, carbonic acid, or carbon dioxide gas. Now, I want to show you something else that's really fun to do with carbon dioxide. And many of you have seen this before, but this is called my Boo Bubbler. And what I want to do is, I have some regular old bubble solution here. And I have a container. Now, if I take some carbon dioxide, excuse me, and put it in our bubbler, you already know that it's going to make carbon dioxide gas. And... If I take that carbon dioxide gas and I put this lid on, you guys, oh boy, there we go, already know that we can, for, boy, that's really bubbling today. We can force the carbon dioxide gas out our tube. Now, if I, whoop, if I go ahead and dip our hose in the bubble solution. I can make a bubble, but this isn't any old bubble. 
this is a bubble that has carbon dioxide gas in it. Let's see how big I can get one. Well, it's getting big, isn't it? big that is my friends and then when it pops it's carbon dioxide sorry I'm off camera now we'll put that dry ice in there oh isn't that interesting the dry ice makes noise hmm, we're pouring we're pouring carbon dioxide all over the place aren't we wow look at that wonder what happens if we pour a little, my goodness, we poured a little bubble juice in there. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> We're making a bubble sundae, aren't we? Wow. Now that's interesting. And then it pops and the carbon dioxide gas goes out. Whoa. So. That's fun with carbon dioxide. <laughs>